the Itokawa asteroid. An extended look zooming down to the surface in more detail. Part 3 by Ronald Stewart. In this next image we're going to see four positions to where the Hayabusa spacecraft was able to image the Itokawa asteroid in A, which is about 25,000 kilometers in distance away, B was about 15, and C about 10. On the right, about 1,000 kilometers. Image credit, JAXA. Where the MI process is going to zoom into the small little dot at 1,000 kilometers away, and it's going to show what the surface looks like. Here, about seven, 800 kilometers in distance, 750, 600, 500, 300 kilometers away in distance, 200, 125, 75, 50 kilometers in distance, and 25 or less kilometers in distance. We'll zoom into the Itokawa asteroid to the back in an angled position. and then back out again. The Hayabusa robotic spacecraft was able to take images of the surface of the Itokawa asteroid 17 meters wide. Here we see the image on the surface of the Itakawa asteroid as it starts to zoom down to try to get a soil sample, as it did in 2005. Here it is shown being an artist's conception with 294 feet above the image of the surface. The 17 meter image that he was able to take as seen in the white little area on the right side of this image above is projected in A, B, and C. A is a black and white image of a rock about perforated rock about five feet long. B is a vertical image, and C is also the colored image. But now here we're going to zoom into this vertical aspect of this of the Itokawa asteroid, and we're going to zoom down this three-dimensional elongated longitudinal look. We'll position ourselves as we zoom in with the MI technology about 30 to 50 feet above the asteroid surface where we can see the, the measurement scale below is at 100 meters 328 feet approximately and we will eventually be zooming down all the way to an area that's only 10 feet wide in diameter. As we zoom closer and closer, as we take a look at the length of the entire asteroid. 168 feet, 65, 80 feet, 40, 20, and then 10. And here is an extremely close look at the length of the asteroid in much detail. The yellow arrow points to the area we will be zooming down that's approximately 10 feet wide in diameter. Again, zooming closer at 60, 40, 20, and 10 feet. As we get closer and closer to the area, we will also be imaging the ed where the red arrow points 60, 40, 20, and 10. The red arrow points to the area again, where we will also be zooming down to a rock about two feet in length and another one six inches in length. A shows the 
longitudinal elongated lengthwise view of the uh, Ikatoa Ka Kawa asteroid. The aqua arrow points to A, which is a black area, which is a large wide chasm. Here's the first rock, two feet in length. The aqua arrow points about the location and it shows the rock in a projected larger image. A second rock points away from the bottom left corner of the rock about six inches in length to the projected e e uh, rock, perforated rock also on this asteroid. Here, again, we look at the image shown that was taken by the Hayabusa spacecraft, seen on A, B, C, and D, which takes a picture of a rock, perforated rock, about five feet in length. We just now imaged a perforated rock, also with the MI technology, is shown in E, where we have now shown a rock six inches long. D and E have striking similarities in the fact is that they are both perforated and have concaved areas in the rocks themselves. The MI technology with the Exascope project certainly can not only image this asteroid but others as well.